Hey guys, I'm Kim Orleski. I am the leading sales coach, and I want to talk to you a little bit about the difference between knowing and thinking that you know. Recently, I had a prospect, and we were talking about one of his upcoming sales cycles, and he says, Kim, Kim, this is amazing. I can't wait. I am so close to closing this deal. I said, fantastic. And all of a sudden, as it started coming out, I said, here's the questions that you need to ask. Ask the lead qualifying questions. If you think you're going to be closing this deal, I want to know how close are you to actually closing this. Ask the lead qualifying questions. Who is the decision making? Who else will be a part of this decision? He goes, no, 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 Kim. I think I already know that. I said, do you think or do you know? See, the problem is we often will shoot ourselves in the foot in a sales cycle because we will assume that we know the answers. We will assume that we think we know what the solution is. We think we know who is part of the decision. We think we know what their budget is and we think we know what their timeline is. But unless the client has actually said it out of their mouth, it does not exist. It is actually not even true. Thinking is one of the most deadliest places that you can be in a sales cycle because thinking does not mean that you know. And thinking that you know what's in the other person's head can leave you up for too many uncertainties and too many unknowns. If you think you know the answer, ask the questions to your clients and get them to a point where they are telling you the answers so then you actually know what it is. Asking the question is not going to harm your sales cycle. It'll actually do the exact opposite. It will actually strengthen it. It will allow the client to make sure that you know that you are providing them the absolute best solution and best response to the problems and the challenges that they are having. Don't spend your time thinking you know the answers. Spend your time knowing the answers. And if for one moment you're like, ooh, I'm actually not 100% certain that that is actually the case, go back and ask the question. It will not harm the sales cycle. It will strengthen it. It will strengthen your relationship with your client and it will make you a sales knockout. Go check us out at KimOrleski.com and apply for the upcoming class of KO Sales U. We want to help you achieve your revenue results and goals for the back half of 2018 and turn you into an overwhelming success. See you later.